Hey there Dev Squad 30 here and welcome back to my Mech Combat series. In today's video, we are going to be showing you how you can set up the body for your turret bot. Now, what you have at the moment in your scene and in your game is a spider which has an explosive on the back. We are going to have a second type of enemy which is going to have a turret on the back. Now, in today's video, we are going to be focusing on setting up the blueprint importing the assets and also setting up the animation blueprint as well so that it's going to walk around in our level and then in a later video we are then going to move on to setting up the functionality and actually getting it to shoot projectiles so without further ado let's go ahead and dive straight into it so the first thing that i want to say is you need to have the latest version of the mech combat files within this i have updated it with meshes for this turret bot so you're going to have an fbx for the body and all of the animations that you might want to use for it so go ahead and grab that if you haven't got it already download it from our website the link for which is in the description but navigate to the same folder that i'm within and then within your engine we are going to import this so go to mech combat go to meshes and then in here, what you want to do is create a new folder with the name AI underscore spider underscore turret. Just like that. Open it up. And then with all of these files, what you want to do is import them. Make sure you start off with the spider turret. Drag and drop to import that. And then what you want to do is make sure you are importing a skeletal mesh. And then once you've done that, go ahead and press import. Now, once we close this and open it up, what we should have is the top half of our spider turret. So if we open this, you can see it. Now, what I do want you to keep in mind is this turret is currently closed and in its retracted position. So it is going to look a little bit odd. If it hasn't applied the robo material, make sure you do this up in the top left. So once we've done this, what we can do now is import the animations so you can see exactly what we're working with. So import all of the animations and then in the same folder, you want to click, drag and drop to import these. Make sure that your skeleton is set to spider underscore turret. And this is the skeleton that we have just imported with our new model. So go ahead and select this if you can't find it. You should be able to find it. Spider turret underscore skeleton and then you're good to go. And then press import. And then what you will have from here is all of the different animations. So you've got the first one which is our idle animation. You've also got our open animation which is going to open up the turret. We've also got a open idle so an idle animation that's just going to sit there when the turret is active so when it's not doing anything but you want it to be poking out the top you have also got a retract animation which is essentially going to take those little muzzles in and retract this turret back into the body and then last but not least you have also got a shooting animation which is going to simply move the two barrels there as you shoot your projectiles so now that we've got this set up we can actually move on to creating the blueprint which is going to contain this turret bot so what we're going to do is go to our blueprints folder and the blueprints folder that we are after is the one underneath third person bp select your spider bomb and then with this we're going to be duplicating it now, the reason why we're duplicating it is because we want to reuse the code which is going to make this character move and we also want to reuse the physical mesh on the bottom half that we've got. We're going to give this duplication the name spider underscore turret and then what you're going to do is go ahead and open this up. Give it a couple of seconds to load. And what we're going to be doing is removing the code which is going to make this explode because we don't need this. So what we're going to be doing, the begin overlap code at the bottom here, we are simply going to delete that. 
once we've done it all we're going to be left with is our code which is going to make it move moving on from there if we go to our viewport we are going to remove the physical element of the explosives on its back and replace it with the turret so select your skeletal mesh for the bombs that are on its back and then just go ahead and delete that what we're going to do with this now is add a new skeletal mesh and in the details panel on the right hand side the skeletal mesh for this is going to be our spider turret that we have just imported and with that what we're going to do is drag it into position so drag it in just like that make sure we've rotated it and got all of that good to go now we're going to be able to see all of this properly once we have got the animations in place so it's out and we know exactly where the barrels are and we're going to be able to do this once we've set up our animation class so once we've done this what we're going to do now is move on to actually attaching it to the body so it's going to move with the body of your spider bot so the way we're going to do this is by going to our components panel in the top left hand corner and then simply dragging our skeletal mesh over our original mesh and that is going to attach it now with this we need to set a parent socket so it knows exactly where to attach it to once we've done this we're going to move on to setting the parent socket which is actually going to tell the engine exactly where to attach this object to on the other actor so over on the details panel on the right hand side underneath parent socket we're going to press the magnifying glass and then what we're going to do is socket this to the core and what you'll notice now is that static mesh is going to be moving up and down with the animation of the spider now bear in mind it is going to be offset a little bit so we need to accommodate for that so what we're going to do is go ahead and rotate this and then we are just going to rotate it by 90 degrees and then place it back into our spider just like that and just place it in just where it should so you want to be doing this with your eyes so just drop it in until it looks perfectly secure and it looks natural and that is exactly what you're looking for so now that we've got this out of the way what we can actually do is move on to setting up the animation blueprint for this turret at the top so the engine is going to need to know when it needs to idle and also when it needs to shoot so this is the animation class that we are filling so what we're going to do is close this and what I'm also going to do is put a spider turret bot into the scene for testing purposes and then with this underneath our meshes folder for our spider turret we are going to be creating a animation blueprint inside of here so go to animation and then animation blueprint for the skeleton select your turret as that is what we're working with and then we're going to give this the name spider underscore turret underscore anim bp just like that open it up and we can start working on this so the first thing that you're going to need to have is a state machine. The state machine is going to allow us to add different states so we can play more than one animation. Go ahead and hook up the animation pose to the result and then open up your state machine. In here we need to determine the different types of states that we're going to have for this turret. Now the different states that I want us to have for the most simple version of this game is going to simply be an idle state where it's going to be out in the open and it's also not going to be moving. So that is our idle state. We're also going to have this shooting state which is going to move those barrels backwards and forwards as I showed you earlier on. So from our entry we are going to add a state and we are going to give this the name idle. And then from our idle, we're also going to be adding in another state with the name shooting. And then from shooting, you want that to link back to idle as you should be able to go to and from shooting from idle. So once we've done this with our idle animation, what we're going to be doing in here is going to our asset browser in the bottom right hand corner, getting our open idle and hooking this up into our result. And then if we go ahead and compile this, 
this is going to open up our turret and this is going to be our default animation for idling and if i go ahead and jump into our scene and if i was to press play that turret would be out and open once we finished off this animation blueprint so open this back up and what we're going to do now is move on to the shooting state open it up and what we're going to do is use the shoot animation and hook this straight up into, into the final animation pose for the shooting state. So now we've done this, we need to set up the transitional rules which are going to tell the engine exactly when it needs to be in either one of these states. And we're going to be doing this using a variable called shooting which is going to be stored within that blueprint. And when I say that blueprint, I mean the blueprint for the character and not within this animation blueprint. So what we're going to do is close this for the moment, go back to third person BP and blueprints and open up spider underscore turret. In here, you want to add a variable with the name shooting. And by default, if you go ahead and compile this, you want to make sure this is set to untrue, set it to false because you don't want it to shoot by default. Once we've done this, what we can do is head back over to our animation blueprint and reference that as we've now created it. So go to your animation blueprint for your spider turret, open it up, and then what we're going to do is underneath our event graph, on event blueprint update animation, we are going to cast to the spider underscore turret and then with this, as spider turret, we are going to get a reference to that shooting variable that we've just created. And with this, we are going to promote it to a variable that we can work with in here. We are going to give this the name is shooting. And then with this, we're just going to hook this up to the execution pin from cast to spider turret. Once we've done this, what we're going to do is with our object wildcard for our cast to spider turret, we're going to drag that out and create a try get pawn owner node. Once we've done this, if we go ahead and compile, it's going to get rid of any errors that we may have. And if we were to go into our preview editor and simply toggle on is shooting or not, it's not going to do anything at the moment. But once we go back to our state machine and set up this transitional rule, it is going to do exactly what we need it to. So, starting off with idle to shooting, open it up, and we are going to simply do is shooting. And then, if we go back to our state machine and look at shooting to idle, we are going to be looking for not true. So, what we're going to be doing is getting a reference to is shooting. And then from that, we're going to drag out and use not boolean. So this is going to return true if is shooting is not true. So go ahead and compile it. All of your errors are going to go. And under our preview editor, if I select is shooting, it's going to start shooting. If I deselect it, it is going to stop shooting. And that is all good to go. So let's close this and put it into our blueprint and see it in action. So go to third person BP, blueprints, and then spider turret. Go to our viewport and select your skeletal mesh. And then underneath your animation class, this is where you want to set it to the animation blueprint that we've created in this video, which is spider underscore turret underscore and in BP. And what you're going to notice from here is the barrels are going to come out, the turret is going to expand and we now have this look. If I go ahead and compile this and then press play, what we should have is a spider bot with a turret on the back which is going to move in just the same way as the explosive bot. However, obviously it is not going to explode. So now we've got the body all set up. What we need to do is move on to setting up the functionality, which is something we're going to be doing in the next video. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out.
This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.